Hello, and welcome. And I uh, figured I would start this off with enchanting a pick. Come on, Silk Touch. Yes. And I have an Unbreaking 3 pick that I can combine with that, so it's exactly what I want. So I guess I will enchant a sh sword. I almost said shovel. Um, but right... No? Did I already combine it with something? Must have. Oh, right, yeah, I used to repair the... F no, no, I, I don't know. Oh, come back to me. Uh, so that's what I've got sitting in here. Look at all the stuff I got from the zombie spawner when I was using that for experience. Oh, right, I was going to make a sword. With my diamonds. Diamonds back. If you're wondering why that three coal is there, it's because I was emptying my inventory. Kind of like right now. This is stuff for the, uh... Did I not make a sword? Oh my god. Okay, you can sit on the floor for a moment. Apparently, I fail. But, yeah, I'm going to be taking them over as raw stone, partly because they'll take up less inventory space. Mm, not a big fan of knockback, but I like the sharpness. I'm not entirely sure what takes... As far as I've been able to establish, establish certain... Uh, uh, certain aspects of a given weapon uh, hold precedence over other parts and whatnot. So, like, I mean, this has just got sharpness fire aspect. So, like, right there where it has knockback. I'm wondering what else would go in the knockback spot, or if knockback is in a league of its own. Which, I'm going to keep using that. I'm going to throw this guy in here. I'm going to need to make a new chest for tools soon. I should grab some more of this stone. What I should do is grab a chest. And reorganize this one. Because everything's in a mess! I don't like it. Yes, I'm aware there's some slabs in there still that I have not brought with me. But uh, I will see you guys over at the... Uh, well, the, the giant platform that I don't think I did anything to. If I didn't do anything to it, I'll do that before I resume. So, uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Alright. Here we are. That guy jumped off of his... On his own accord from the whole way up there. Hopefully he's one hit from death. Because otherwise I could be in some serious trouble. Nice. Yes, another one died while I was getting a drink. I decided to get a drink before we... Or before I started recording this, which I also ran up the stairs, so if I sound a bit winded, that's why. But uh, the whole rib cage of this whole thing is set up, and I've already got the vines placed. And because those guys are one hit from death, that means I should start shoving people off of here. Go away. Go away. I said go away. Away. Thank you. You too, sir. Either side. Splat. See, those ones are alive and that one's dead, which means these are right. Uh, I didn't bring my pistons up here with me, but that shouldn't be an issue. These are going to need to be three wide. They're going to have to be wider later once I actually attach the reset, but I'm pretty sure I didn't bring enough redstone for that. Which, it is right there. Keep that as a half slab for now. Make sure that nothing spawns. 
And yes, the entire thing is going to be built out of half slabs. Or slabs. Or half blocks. Whatever you want to call them. Uh, just because I can. It sounds like as good a reason as any, right? I can. I can, and therefore I will. Uh, put you there. Do 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 do. do. I'm thinking about putting vines on the other side as well, but I'm actually concerned that too many vines. Too just just that just too many vines. But, uh, that is where the piston will go. I just realized a serious flaw in this whole plan. And that serious flaw is that the moment I go down to grab the pistons and all that jazz stuff is just going to spawn here. And I actually don't want that, so... Now, if I'm right, these guys should be resetting their... Uh, fall damage from the two vines that I have down there. It's two vines and the buttons are to keep them from expanding. And I'm turning these into half slabified platforms to make sure that nothing spawns here. I should just leave that like that and that add on to it when I come back up. My only concern is that I might not have enough half slabs to finish this whole thing, but there is more in the chest I have down there. And there's a little bit of uh, stone left. Okay. And I got the, the redstone torches set up the whole way up too. Um, obviously anytime I add any levels I'm going to have to add more. And I'm going to have to worry about inverting in some cases, and this and that. But there's going to be a button wired up down underneath where they are. I kind of want to make it a wooden button, but I didn't bring any wood. Hey, they're gone. Because I was over 32 blocks away, and they have a chance to despawn when that happens. Anyhow... See, I've still got some in here, which I guess I will grab. Grab that and that. Got my pressure plates. So, I'm sure you noticed that I don't ha have any levels now. And this is a different pick. I did manage to fall off of there while building it, and I guess the pick flew over the edge. So I had to get another one. And I had to go back for vines and... Numerous other things. You know what? I'm taking these up with me. What am I doing here? Disorganized inventory. Uh, we won't worry about you at the moment. Because I'm pretty sure... Well, I brought enough redstone to fix one layer. So I guess I can do that. And... I don't really need anything else at the moment. Um... I'm going to want these, I think. Do, 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 do. So, in case you haven't noticed, these are all too high. Like, th there's enough space for me to walk, should I need to fix any torch for any reason or something, but other than that, Enderman can't spawn in those. And that was the important... Th okay. I was looking at it, I was like, something's weird here. I'm actually impressed how long it uh, takes an efficiency 5 pick to break through a uh, half slab. But, uh, I'm not sure how long this is going to take to finish. And I know I'm going to be doing at least two levels to start off with 
because it should be 16 wide on both sides, which we will know here shortly. I'm pretty sure some, some slabs fell down in the middle, but I don't particularly care much if I lose some, because I lost about three stacks and I fell down to my death. It was actually because I decided not to place the ladders as I went up. And that is the reason why I fell. I almost fell again. Uh, 16? Yeah, so that was exactly as many as I was expecting. Gonna want to cap each of these off. Not that it matters. These are gonna be full slabs. Well, they don't need to be. They will be. Probably. Maybe not. Leave some space in there. Give the enemy a chance to look out before they get pushed to their death. Okay, so, hey. Oop. And now I gotta place locks in here. And I'm aware I could probably just use a half slab on the upper part, but you know what? It's not about what you could do for efficiency of your block types. It's about what you should do to guarantee that it works in the end. I'd rather use more blocks and guarantee that it works than try and skimp to save resources. Okay, a few of those got changed in their timings. And while that's not necessarily a major problem, I require it to be fixed out of pure dislike for it not being set right. So, did I ever mention that crafting 64 pistons can get kind of expensive? There is no way I have enough resources to make this thing too much higher at the moment. I could probably give it two more levels, but it's not going to be spectacular, if you know what I mean. Oh no! There. Now I want to make sure they can't walk off, and since that is the half slab layer... I don't know if I got both of those. Wait. What is going on here? Okay. Right? Two? Two. Um. Crap? I win. So, now I have to place all these pressure plates without killing myself. Okay! I've managed to accomplish that much. That's something. I kind of want to leave space there. Uh, oh, well, that block's probably gone forever. Same with that one. So, one, two, three, four. Uh oh, I feel a sneeze. Okay. One, two. Uh oh. Oop. Okay. Now the question is. So then the next level would be here. I think. Mm, no. Yes. No. No. 
No? Yes. I'm going to go with yes. Because it feels like the better choice of the two choices. Uh... Crap. Let me see... So... That would be a full block. So yeah, the next LUN... LUN? Oh shit. Don't trap myself in here. The next level would be right here? I think. Except for I'd probably want it to be up one. Uh, maybe not. Better safe than sorry. Whoa! Okay. Oh, crap. This whole thing makes me feel very, very, kind of vertigo-y. vertigo -y? I'm inventing new words again. Uh. Oh, God. Is this right spot? Yes, this is the right spot. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I want to make sure it doesn't get too high. So I'm going to place in some little... Oh. Oh, whatever. Ah! Okay, it's no longer whatever. I want them. I need them. Oh. Damn it. Oh no! So... These will be here. Something seems very weird here. Um, no. Yes, but no. Whee! I'm gonna end up jumping off of here if I, by accident, if I keep that up. Okay. Uh. Right? Those are half slabs. Uh, I don't want to place them on this side because I have no way back up yet. Which could be a serious problem in the long run. Hmm. Oh no! Well, goodbye block. Ooh. Oh no. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. I... You may not believe this, but I wanted to make sure it was going to actually push it. And it did, so... At least I know that much. Uh... Why are these... Why are these? There. I hope that works. Ooh. I 
think I have enough everything. I hope. My biggest worry is really just the building blocks. Should I think I, I think I'm just gonna go with I think I don't even feel like finishing the statement. Oh, I'm trying to keep things kind of symmetrical. By kind of, I mean I'm doing a really bad job. I have yet to establish how I'm even going to go about the whole redstone torch stuff. Uh... I just need this to make sure no Endermen spawn up there. Because I don't want them up there either. Oh. I am going to need you there eventually, Mr. Half Slab, but not right now. And I should have left that one. Right. All right. I think that's right. I hope so. So, I'm sorry that I haven't been too talkative, but unfortunately, building and thinking are two things that don't go very well together at times. And I want to make sure I build all of this right because I don't want to build it wrong. Uh, I want did I actually build that oh wow that ended up the whole way back at the piston okay so that will keep these pesky endermen from cheating their way out hopefully I just noticed a serious flaw in this plan I haven't placed the repeaters underneath of these yet. Oh. Now, this should all work by the end. And if I made a serious mistake, and they are not... What is the word I'm looking for? They're not doing things right. So first of all, if they're dying when they hit the ground, I've got a problem. And then, if anything else that shouldn't be happening happens, ooh, I have a problem. However, as it currently stands, they should not have a way out. But that is secured, I hope. Uh, Well, if I did it wrong, there's going to be rogue endermen spawning up there. And if I did it right, there's going to be endermen falling down one hit from death. Are you one hit from death? You're one hit from death. So are you, and you. And also you. Nice. Very good. Uh, yeah. Doesn't that just look like an atrocity to redstone and kind and whatnot? The redstone's not even really hooked up. That's the sad part. And I should have just ender pearled down, shouldn't I? 
Oh well. Too late for that. So I do have some slabs left still. I'm gonna need an enchanting area and an anvil here. And it's gonna be a new enchanting area, which means I'm gonna have to salvage more books from the uh the stronghold. But I knew this wasn't gonna be spectacularly fast with only two levels. And it's not, but if I say go AFK for five minutes or something, I'll be able to come back and I guarantee you there should be quite a bit here. But uh I mean I can get the other levels prepared, kind of, but to be honest, I don't really have the iron to support that at the moment, which is why I'm thinking about making another branch mine under the, uh... Let me turn these guys down. Under the stronghold. Because I could use more iron. Between the rails that I had set up and the, uh... Um... This. I, I've really started cutting through my iron quite regularly. So... But, uh... Look, they die. Look at all the shiny green things. <laughs> well, green and yellow. I'm gonna have to make some boots with feather falling now. Just for the express purpose of ender pearling. But, uh, this more or less completes this. I'm gonna have to put in, you know, like I said, the enchanting station, and I'm gonna wanna have to wire up the the reset switch, which will be simple. Um, it'll basically work exactly how you would think it would. It would be on the block above the uh, the piston with just wire on it, and whenever the power resets, or well, not resets, but uh, whenever they all get supplied with power, they'll all expand and then retract. And if any blocks get stuck, that should fix it. The, the inconsistency up there is going to annoy me. Maybe at some point, if I ever end up with enough wool, I will just coat the entire outside of this. But, uh, this is already much faster than the, uh, oh, you know what I could do? I could probably try and set up a farm for animals in here, like the cow, or maybe chickens. It would theoretically work. I mean, chickens, I would just need to bring eggs and everything would be cool. And I just build something to spit out eggs and something to throw eggs into to get chickens and and I might want to be careful with how many ender pearls I pick up because but yeah this isn't spectacularly fast at the moment but as you can see it's it's quick it's fairly quick better than the uh, zombie farm I have but. Uh, Hopefully next time, I'm going to definitely make a branch mine underneath of the, uh, the stronghold. Hopefully I'll end up with a bunch of iron. If I find a big cave system, I might just record that, and that could be next episode. But, uh, we will see what happens with that. Because I have done a lot of digging at my current branch mine, and it's th there's just holes everywhere now. So, I don't know. I don't know if this episode's long. I don't know if it's short. I don't know if it was boring. I do know that uh, this looks off center. Let me look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God damn it! So, if I were to take this out, it would be ten both sides. Which means I need to remove this and put it on this side. This isn't this is going to be a four wide path in the end, but God damn it.
I have to do it now, otherwise it's going to bother me forever. So, I think I'm going to complete this path. It's going to be four wide, uh, probably half slab railings, like right here. So I shouldn't be able to walk through that. Yeah. So, so yep, that's basically going to be like that, going the whole way over. Did I look at one and piss it off or something? Hello, Enderman. Dead Endermen. Many dead Endermen. Oh, experience. Experience. So, I'm going to add more to that. Bef probably before next time, hopefully. I'm going to finish this walkway, but for now, I'm going to call this good. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.